special number. All around me are familiar faces. No expression. No expression. Of a man. Identifying a road that leads to So sad. It's a mad world. Yeah, Bernie. Uh, just, just set up a meeting as soon as possible. You know what? I just want everybody to calm down because, you know, they need to be reminded who's running things, right? Yeah, bye. You pay me uh, extremely well, and God knows I'm worth it, but even I right. cannot respond to contradictory emails sent within an hour. Get Michael off the road crew now. Back off the road crew. Dig up some dirt on Steve Weber. Leave Weber alone. Get Michael on at the hospital. Push the quarter mains. Do nothing until you hear from me. Pick an order, any order, and I will gladly follow it. Are you done? For now. Uh, I decided to back off Michael. He got, he got uh, hurt at work today. On his first day? Yeah, he, he didn't even make it to lunch. The supervisor sent him to the, to the hospital. Is he all right? Yeah, yeah, he, he burnt his hand on some equipment. It's not serious, but he, he, he wants me to stay out of it. Do you know what set him off? <sighs> Somebody on the road crew was hassling him because he's my son, and, you know, what does a good father do? Stay out of it or get involved? I don't know. Well, no wonder you're contradicting yourself. Uh, got it for a boss, top of the line, just like you said. Oh, hi, I didn't see you. Shopping bags. May I? Oh, go right ahead. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, who's the lucky girl? Christina? Okay, we're finished here. <laughs> a computer notebook with internet capability, and I'm guessing every app imaginable. That's a virtual aphrodisiac for a career-driven workaholic. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? Well, no. <laughs> Why send flowers when you can go high tech, huh? I'm sure Claire Walsh is gonna take one look in that bag and leap straight into bed with you. Did you find a leader? We're carrying the pulmonary artery first. Okay, good call. So we're gonna repair the lock, find the bullet. We should take it to back. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for the assist. A couple of very important people who are counting on us. How long do you think the surgery is going to take? With two bullets and internal injuries? A while. I hate this. It's like 
being stuck in some huge nightmare, terrible event I can't control. You know, the doctor part of my brain just keeps going over and over the surgery, calculating the odds. And then the other part of my brain that's just... Max's niece keeps thinking, I wouldn't even be a doctor if it wasn't for him. I thought you got into medicine because of Stone. He did not want me to date Stone. I was morally opposed to it. You know, he was a street kid, and Uncle Mac always had very high expectations, so... Here I am. Not wanting to let him down. And then there's me. I've basically structured my entire life around letting Mac down. But he never lost faith in me. I mean, no one is more proud of my fashion career than Mac is. He never turned his back on me, no matter what I did. I keep telling myself he has the best two surgeons working on him. What if that's not enough? Don't say that, Robin. He's gonna come back to us. He has to. Good thoughts. That's what we need to focus on. Good thoughts. I just think it's part of the show. Brilliant. Astonishing. It's as if Franco's art came to life. We just witnessed a murder and they think it's performance art. What the hell did you do? What are you talking about? Franco is the only one who knew where Elizabeth's baby was and you pushed him off. No, I didn't push Franco off. You jumped. Listen, we don't, we, don't, we don't know what's really going on, you know? I mean, the, the first thing he said was things are not what they seem. So th this whole thing could be simulated just, just to cause more panic and confusion. I mean, maybe Jason pushed him off, maybe he didn't. He, look, he looks pretty dead to me. No, I'm just, I'm just trying to remain as objective as I possibly can. So let's just take a deep breath and, and review what we know, okay? We don't have any new leads coming in from Los Angeles yet. No, no, no security alarms have been set off here. That means that Aiden could very well still be here. That also means that Franco can't be the only one that knows where he is. He has an accomplice. And that's who we need to find.